Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to Anonymous Code. Boy, oh boy, are things getting just a, just a little bit weird, a little bit confusing, and things are getting revealed left, right, and center, it feels like. But mainly one big thing has come forth, and that is the very, very big possibility that the world is digital, that we are in a simulation and that we have layers and layers of simulations in both directions. Obviously, we have seen Earth simulators throughout the story here, Gaia being the big one. But obviously, we have this uh, whole brand new concept that has uh, come up that there are layers of simulations that go in the other direction and that is on top of us. We, the player, have been... Uh, the one controlling Poland's choices, we are the Anon, we are somebody from outside of the simulation looking in. So, if things weren't already confusing with this whole simulation crap, it has gotten a whole lot more fun. And I've been reading the comments, you know, where we're at here in regards to the idea of a simulation. It can definitely explain some things that have happened in the Science Adventure series, some things that have happened in this title specifically. But I have not read through all the comments, mostly because they're still coming in. And there's a lot to talk about, truly, and a lot of ideas, a lot of good ideas. But I also want to avoid spoilers, and I want to continue to thank myself for a couple more episodes, especially while we're continuing to get this big ol' reveal rolled out to us. It was late at night, but the meeting room at the Ministry of Defense was full of people shouting. Well, yeah, the world's fucking falling apart all of a sudden. That's one way of putting it. The members of Project Gaia had been following the progress of the operation to seize the Gaia institution, but the outcome had been so disastrous that they'd flown into panic. Yeah, who would have known that you'd have, like, control of the events in the simulation, which are also the events here? Well, yeah, that's the... that is the power of the Gaia. Well, yeah, they are. That rat is correct. Well, maybe? I don't know. Well, actually, no, no, no. If, if we continue to play into the Vatican's hands, if they get what they want, then things were going to go this direction either way. The end of the world is set to come in a week's time. So, no, I mean, let's not play into the Vatican's hands. It's just that they had to get things back on a, uh, on that fate line, you know, back on track. <laughs> the Minister of Defense fell silent. He was usually composed, but on this occasion, he didn't seem himself. His forehead was sweating, his eyes wandering, and his legs fidgeting. Sounds like me all the time. <laughs> The words he'd awkwardly blurted out invited a brief silence. Everyone was shocked. Yeah, this kind of is coming out of left field. But the shouting resumed a moment later, even louder than before. Yeah, we're, we're way like, too far into this. The minister buried his face in his hands. Their attempt to separate Gaia from Asuma had resulted in them losing Gaia entirely. Even if they wanted to predict the future now, they no longer had the means. As a result, they had no idea how to address this catastrophic situation. The situation was spiraling further and further out of control, but they could do nothing but watch. Yeah, this is it. Game over. They really should have just let things be. But, of course, it wasn't really their decision. It was uh, the Vatican doing what they were doing from behind the scenes. We made our way to Odaiba on a fishing ship that we'd stumbled across. We arrived and saw the place was in a worse state than Umanomori Park. No, no, this 
this looks normal. I'm, I'm pretty sure this looks absolutely normal. Buildings are supposed to look like that too in the background there. The one responsible for this destruction was sitting, hugging his knees in the remains of a collapsing station. That's Asma. right. We have uh, Poland here who feels like he just needs to talk to Asimo. <sighs> the scale of the ruin made it difficult to find him. Everything looked so unreal. None of it seemed like it belonged in the world we knew. It reminded me of the days that followed the sad morning. Back then I could hear people weeping and groaning in every direction. And I was desperately trying to help them. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, there's just people missing. Cool. That's bound to happen here. But I couldn't hear anyone right now. We hadn't found a single living person while searching for Asuma. Was anyone here still alive? Asuma had done all of this, but I could have stopped it. I missed my chance to prevent his rampage. I felt responsible myself knowing that I had failed. This was all I could do now. Yeah, he's... He's long gone. He's kind of lost his mind here. I looked at him, but the confident cocky boy who had looked down on everyone else was nowhere in sight. Terrorism suspected? Honestly, that is a... That is a fair thing, you know? Like, who would have thought that it would have been just a, a regular boy who was just pissed off, you know? Is that a form of terrorism? Probably. But it wasn't like outside work or anything like that. Simulation Wait, Chief Cabinet Secretary, Prime Minister is unharmed. Three minutes later, his well-being is uncertain. Okay, well, those are some mixed messages. But yeah, Momo is different, isn't she? She doesn't exist in the Gaia, so was she, like, inserted into the simulation somehow? But is this also the world that we've gone through the other Science Adventure series titles with? You know, Chaos Head, Chaos Child, all the Steins Gate, Robotics Notes, Occultic Nine... Were they also, you know, stories that have taken place in this simulation? Or were they on a completely different layer? You know, there's a lot to consider, especially with world lines and... I don't know, it's just so fucking much now. This is just a whole nother fucking cake, you know? It's not a layer of cake, it's just another fucking cake itself. Honestly, I don't think it would. ま、結局終わりは来る。せっかくロシアを世界に放り込んだのに、この状況はブレイクスルーできてない。だからさ、この世界も失敗なんだ。無意味だ。2038年問題は神にすら解決できないんだ。Relatives and acquaintances unable to contact many Odaiba residents. Gee, I wonder why. Momo. Asuma had told me a few hours ago that Momo hadn't shown up in the Earth simulations. That meant that she was an irregularity unique to this world layer. Kind of like an actual being sent by the gods themselves. She probably had not expected to learn about her origins here now. Even so, Momo didn't hang her head as she listened. 
JUSDF operations suspected at Guy Institution before Odaiba's destruction. Yeah, a little bit. Just, just maybe. Like a regular human being. Momo looked at me. I looked back at her and nodded. The dynamic fucking duo. As I've been saying all game long. But our words weren't getting through to him. Uh, we're not going to admit it. We just went through like a big ass speech about how it's not pointless. Damn, all of Tokyo Awards gotta evacuate? Shit. News helicopter crashes. Guy Institution's young researcher may be responsible. No, that... That is actually on the money right there. Uh-oh. He went back into anime mode. Wait, more news helicopters are crashing? Why? Maybe because there's an asteroid coming. I don't know. I reached out to grab his arm, but before I could, he vanished. My hand grasped for nothing. I looked around, but I couldn't see him. I understood why he felt that way. It was my fault he changed. I did not read that other ticker, but... Governor of Tokyo demands JUSDF intervention. It was all cause, or it was all cause I couldn't help him, excuse me. We wouldn't have been in this situation if I had just done what I had to do. <laughs> in that case, I... Will not load. Or I guess maybe we will load. <laughs> I knew I had to load, but I couldn't shake the fear that those flashbacks were going to mess me up again. I think we just got to like pull an Okabe and rip the bandaid off. But at the same time, we really can't go in blindly. Not that we were before. We definitely, you know, had some information, but we got to prepare like way in advance. I feel I think we're just jumping way too soon or too, too soon of a point. We gotta, we gotta jump way later back. The thought of them kept me from loading. I was incompetent and useless. But you have seen what happens to the world if you don't try to like, or don't succeed in saving it. About half an hour later, a siren rang out inside my BMI. It made every one of my hairs stand up on end. We've been trying to learn what we could about the asteroid, but hadn't gotten anywhere. We couldn't reach O's either. The sound of that siren rigging out amidst the chaos was familiar. I didn't know if it was exactly the same, but it was like the one that I had heard <clears throat> on the sad morning, excuse me. It was the National Safeguard Siren. It was the siren used to alert citizens about imminent danger. Yeah, actually, uh, across the United States, we had one of those, uh, those, like, tests where your phone will get, like, a loud ass alert that you cannot silence like or you can't silence coming up to it so whether you have your phone on vibrate or like a small like ringer volume that shit blurted out for sure you had to have your phone off for like a like a half hour or so basically to avoid that time span it was uh it was pretty ridiculous but at the same time yeah same same sort of deal here <laughs> 
すべての国民は手段を問わずこの会計を見るようにとの緊急声明を出しましたもしご家族で就寝してる人がいましたらすぐに起こし会見を見るようにしてくださいうわこんな深夜なのに東京中の街頭ビジョンが一斉についてるまったまった東京だけじゃなくて日本中だおやや全ての報道機関があらゆる番組を中断して会見を伝え始めたぞ Because this is it. This is it right here. I checked 4chan, social media, and video sites. It was clear everyone was panicking after seeing NASA's press conference. I mean, they're just, you know, saying the same shit that we just got told. Oh, what now? Sorry, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with the、uh, asteroid terminology here. Or anything regards to, in regards to space. I don't remember anything from whenever I took Earth science back in、uh, high school. Because that was back in fucking high school. But、uh, let's check out this tip that we have here.、Uh, so Atlas is short for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. And it is exactly what the name implies. It observes the sky using telescopes and warns of any celestial bodies on a collision course with, it, or with Eark weeks, or Earth weeks before they arrive. Sorry, I can't speak anymore. Developed and operated by the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy and funded by NASA, its observations began in 2015 and were further improved in 2017 with the use of a second telescope. There are plans to establish a total of eight such telescopes in separate places. All,、uh, all over the globe to ensure 24 7 observation of the sky, no matter the weather. Okay, makes sense. Sounds real. So, 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 Damn, not a whole lot of time. Uh, no. You know, you gotta love the conspiracy theorists, especially from, you know, us, the readers, should definitely love being a conspiracy theorist after robotics notes, but. No, they're, they're not covering shit up this time around. This literally just popped up out of nowhere, but nobody's gonna ever believe that. Why would you ever believe that? So, that, that's an understandable question. A silly one, but understandable. Like, how did this not come up before? Now we got six hours left to live. Damn. That is fucking rough, honestly. Oh, hey! Is that Barack? Sounds like Barack. Sounds like Barack. That is exactly what Barack sounds like in the Japanese,、uh, in the Japanese dub. The thing is, is that they would have made it so much more convincing if they、uh, started off his lines with my fellow Americans, because that is just so perfect. That is, that is exactly Barack Obama. After the president's last few words, which were probably his true feelings slipping out, all the journalists in the White House press conference room ran out. The president simply watched. He looked stressed beyond belief. I knew that would only cause more panic. I think it's a little bit too late for that. Kent wasn't here, but Momo desperately called out to him anyway. And here he is. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if that was going to happen. And he actually appeared. He's just appearing before us through BMI, right? 
No, no, he's actually here. What the fuck? How's that working out? Well, I guess in this lovely digital world. Okay, well, this news ticker here is uh, nothing new. We, we literally just heard about this. 10 in the morning, say goodbye Japan. And many other countries in the vicinity. Oh, I, I wonder who. Where is he going to look? Hmm. Yep, directly at us. Can't look straight at me. Yeah, we have to load back and basically prevent that from happening. That asteroid is literally one of the things that will, you know, that that's our calamity right there. Or that's the end of the calamity. And then one week later is the end of the world, if not this. So we can see all the bad that will happen if we don't succeed. Will that be enough for Poland to, you know, just grit his teeth and find a way? No! Up until now, I'd been using my saving and loading to make the impossible possible. Hold on. Residents of Pacific side regions ordered to evacuate immediately. Evacuate where? What, and people in California just gonna run over to fucking Utah and hope that, you know, oh yeah, well, we'll be okay here. We're a couple states over now. But I knew that stuff came at a cost. Also, this was way wilder than anything I had dealt with so far. It was a goddamn asteroid. Is this really more wild than anything we've dealt with before? We had a fucking, like, extremely tall-ass man with the power to fucking obliterate shit with fire coming after us. Uh, Juno, you know, doing her wacky-ass shit. Uh... Shit, we didn't have too many interactions with that other guy. I've already forgot his name, Ronan. We've had Ronan on our ass. Mostly Momo's ass, but also a problem for us. We had a plane crash that we were trying to, you know, prevent, but that wasn't, I guess, as large of a scale as an asteroid hitting the Earth. But the economy almost blew up, which could have been world-ending in a different way. And what was the third quest? Oh, just people trying to, you know, swan dive off of a fucking rooftop. We've had some wacky situations going on, but yeah, I guess this one does take the cake. But we've we've had some some close runner-ups, all right? Come on. Momo grasped my hand. It's crazy how Momo can go back and forth between being so optimistic and pessimistic. She's just so negative about herself, but optimistic that we can win. Oh. I gently let go of her hand. I couldn't even save Asuma or his mom. How was I supposed to handle a global crisis? We Again, we've kind of had a global crisis going on already, but there was no way. I was useless. The thing is, is that we've always been tasked, you know, ever since we met, uh, met Kent Korihisha here, we were tasked with saving the world. That is quite literally a global scale quest that we have taken on. So why are we now saying this? Well, let, let me rephrase that. We're obviously saying this because we have failed so much already, but... It's always been something that should have been on his mind, is what I'm trying to get at. I was useless. I just got some crazy app and deluded myself into thinking I could save the world. Will we? Odaiba destruction. Prime Minister Azu Azumaya's chances of survival are slim. Lovely. 
100% の成功は保証できないが全ての世界層で世界線大変動を意図的に起こすんだそのために必要なのは神として世界をハッキングするのではなく神の世界をハッキングすることそれならば週末は回避できるだから高岡ポロ小惑星衝突は何としても阻止しなければならないポロンさん It's like that is the big fucking task here is just preventing the asteroid from hitting. We got six hours to work some beautiful magic, or we load and give ourselves way more time. I had loaded so many times, and I still blew it. I knew the same thing would happen if I tried this time. Well, we gotta do something. Fuck, dude. I don't know what, though. If we load, you know, we, we struggle in that regard. Okay, well, that's a positive. I mean, I don't know if we're going to load back from this. I'd like us to. I would like us to prevent everything that Asuma had done, but that still leads us to a whole bunch of other fucking ongoing issues. Man, I, I really don't fucking know. Kuro-san, thank you for your time. 仲間を助けるのは当然のことだろうこっちは道がどこも大渋滞してるみんな避難しようと必死だ Yeah, evacuate where though? The sun hadn't risen yet in Japan yet But the city was already in a state of panic Looting, terrorism, mass suicides Order itself was crumbling I didn't know if it was a good idea to leave this place No matter where we were, we would not survive the asteroid impact The number of casualties were probably going to surpass that of the sad morning. Oh, most definitely. Poland was hanging his head, looking very down. He had been like this for a while now. It wasn't like him. The situation must have hit him pretty hard. The Poland who looked forward and rushed ahead was the one who had given me courage, but I couldn't pin all my hopes on him. I was a member of Nakano Symphonies too, after all. I had to do something about this gloomy atmosphere. My question garnered no responses. Yeah, I mean, how does anyone deal with a、uh, practically world destroying asteroid? It's like those memes that you see online. What do you do in this situation? And it's just a giant ass rock or planet. That is headed your way. There's, there's nothing to do. You're done. I had only asked casually, but I knew full well that solutions would not come so easily. I don't think that's going to work out, but okay. This asteroid case will be referred to as Meteor Hack. Who the hell is this? Sikita prepared this asteroid? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. A hopeless quest junkie who w a n t to make everything into quests. Okay, I'm gonna do this.、Uh, yeah, I. Again, there's, there's no hacking involved here. This is, an, this is just a real big ass rock. But it wasn't even a quest this time. The reaction to it was mixed. Okay, let's,、uh, let's get a little bit of a history lesson on this one. This is an explosion that occurred near the upper stream of. I'm not even going to pronounce, or even pronounce. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'm already struggling to even say what I'm trying to say.、Uh, but this was Russia's Siberia region on June 30th, 1908. It is widely believed to be the result of a meteor impact. It is said to have burned forests as far as 30 to 50 kilometers from the center of the explosion and shattered windows as far as 1,000 kilometers away. With Russia just coming out of the Russo Japanese War at the time and the instability of subsequent events, the site was not properly investigated until 1960. In 2013, a group of composed Ukrainian, German, and American scientists examined the local ground from that time and found minerals that were most likely part of the asteroid, leading them to claim that it was indeed an asteroid impact, but it is not yet wholly confirmed. Cool, cool. Is that real actually? 1908年
I'm gonna assume it's real and kind of crazy that it wasn't really looked into until like practically a whole century later properly looked into. Apparently, evidence subs uh, substantial enough to prove that involvement of a meteor had yet to be found, though. Then what did it? Okay. Perfect. Let's get our history lesson on this one. I actually don't know how real this is because this is actually pretty recent. A meteor that entered Earth's atmosphere near Russia's what now on February 15th, 2013. I, I don't know. A part of me wants to try and pronounce that. Chel, uh, Chelyabinsk Oblast? Yeah, there we go. It was the first ever confirmed meteor that caused major damage to people and their property. It exploded mid-fall, creating a shockwave that shattered the windows and blew out the doors of 4,400 buildings. The atmospheric compression also set it afire, making it burn so bright that when it fell to an altitude of 30 kilometers, it released ultraviolet light that gave sunburns to some of the people that were outside. The meteor had a diameter of 17 meters, and it is speculated that if it had crashed into the surface without breaking apart like it did, it would have created a crater with a 100 meter diameter and completely devastated the surrounding area. At 17 meters, to create a crater that big, that is a huge percentage increase. Jesus. Yeah, supposedly. その恐竜絶滅の原因である小惑星らしい。大きさは。あくまで仮説だが、全長10キロから15キロ。おう。いや、that's、uh、that's Three, we have the the Chikskulub, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. You know, probably not like an idiot, such as myself. Time of impact was 66043 MY... Shit, what does that mean? Uh, location, Northern Yucatan, Yucatan, I can say things, Peninsula, Mexico, diameter 160 kilometers. Uh, we have the Sudbury, time of impact, uh, one. Is this are are these supposed to be commas or are they actually decimals? I I, I I'm sorry guys I'm I'm actually fucking dumb. Uh, but this was in Ontario, Canada. This was 160 kilometers, and we have Redifort. Time of impact and location: Free State, South Africa. Yeah, I, I don't understand these time of impacts. M Y A B Y A. I, uh, sorry guys. I guess I'm just really dumb. Feel free to you know. Give me the lesson of a lifetime in the comments. I should have paid attention back in Earth Science. But to be fair, Earth Science was actually probably one of the most boring classes I've uh, ever had to take. Me living in California, I guess I better say my farewells. より困難な状況だということも何か一発逆転できるような策があればいいんですがそういう映画があったじゃん映画映画ですか四十年くらい前のやつだったかそうそう核爆弾を飛来してくる小惑星に設置して粉々にするんだあれはフィクションだったけど
直径3 0 0 0ルなのよその大きさの小惑星を粉々にするにはかなりのエネルギー量が必要なのでもそれを宇宙に持っていく手段がないわ We also have to consider like another dimension of the asteroid it's not two dimensional 3000 meters in diameter sure but what kind of like overall area are we looking at here for the asteroid like what kind of depth does it have it probably doesn't mean much i mean the the front of the impact is going to be with the front part of the asteroid whatever's aimed towards us but i mean it might have some girth and who knows what that girth can do その衝撃で軌道を変えるのも。You guys ever see a thick asteroid before? Maybe Asuma had determined the size and distance of his asteroid to remove that as an option. And even if launching a nuclear bomb into space seemed like it would work, that kind of effort would need international coordination. And fast, too. It wasn't something we could put into motion. Perhaps thinking strictly in terms of the physical was a bad idea. No. 小惑星が落ちるより先にケントがアスマを排除したらどうなるんだろう Well, the asteroid is already in existence. Digital world or not, it's there. どうなるってどうなるんだ小惑星を生み出したのはアスマだろう。超本人がいなくなったら小惑星の方も消えてなくなったりするのか無意味だ。私がこの世界層のアスマを排除しようとしているのは無制限に今回のような天変地域規模の世界操作を続けられるのを防ぐためでしかない。Because again, as Momo pointed out,、uh, yeah, he can really just bring out more asteroids、uh, among other, you know, big ass world ending problems. 今のソガアスマは上の世界層の彼自身と強いシンクロ状態になっている。それで意思の疎通ができているソガアスマが望んだことは同時に上の世界層の彼も望んでいることになる I wonder why, though. 小惑星そのものを生み出したのはこの世界層のアスマではなく上の世界層のアスマこの世界層のアスマが死のうとも同時に小惑星が消え去るわけではない上の世界層のアスマを排除しても同じだろう It also depends, also, I, I, I think that the more Asimas there are in similar situations that we're currently in, the higher up we go. I mean, isn't this a problem that has to kind of be dealt with at the root? If we're looking at an upside down tree, if you will, I'm, I'm kind of thinking in, in the idea of like, eh, whatever. I don't think there's a better way to describe the stupid bullshit I already threw out. Uh, speaking of God, Poland was right. This really was too great a task for mere humans. Well, us in this world, at least. In this,、uh, in this layer, if you will. I knew that. I fully understood it. But surely there was something we could do. Yeah, load. Oh, nope. I forgot. I'm not, I'm not pulling right now. Pressing that button does fucking jack shit. All right. Oh, wow. We have our countdown timer. It's like a whole nother quest. There was nothing we could do, but even so. Momo was standing near me in silence. She was looking up past meteor impacts. She wasn't alone. Cross and Wynn were helping her. Everyone was sharing videos about those impacts. Nobody was saying it, but I could sense their despair. They were focused on the,、uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that shit again, but the one from 2013. It was because that was the most thoroughly recorded event. There were recordings from multiple angles thanks to all the witnesses, and a lot of the footage was on the internet. The clips that had been picked up by the news media right after it had happened were the ones with the most views. But there were a lot of recordings that didn't break triple or even double digits. Most of them ended within a couple minutes, and some were just a few seconds long. Momo and the others were using specialized apps to increase the clarity of certain parts of the videos and then sharing them over BMI. Thanks, AI enhancement. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn, just speaking of AI tried to kill me. They've been doing that for a while. I was too busy feeling sorry for myself to join in, though. 
まるで突然と地球の近くに現れているように見えるんです。Oh, that's actually a fair point. 似ていると思いませんか今回のメテオハックと。Like, well, well here, here's, here's another thing here. So, this whole system that they have, you know, set in with the telescopes and all that to, to monitor meteors, asteroids, all that, it's not only for those that are going to hit Earth, but those that are coming around it. Something must have drastically changed in order for that to happen. Well, robotics notes has taught me a lot. So, this is your name. s e I mean, it is a good question, though. If our world was an Earth simulation, then weren't the events of the year 2013,、uh, when the, God damn it, the Chilla Binks happened, also confined to this simulation? We were dealing with a situation that Asuma had caused on a whim. In that case, it was possible that Chilia Binks was also God's whim. It was like God was doing a little trolling. In a world like this, stuff like scientific evidence probably didn't mean much to begin with. Our world had miracles and supernatural phenomena. Yeah, you're fucking right. Quantum teleportation, sacraments, the end, the appearance of an asteroid, Momo's incarnation, saving and loading. This was a world built on the whims of those in the world layer above us. We were like guinea pigs in a little plexiglass box. I felt as if even the thoughts in my head were the result of someone messing with certain parameters. It is, as I've said multiple times now, I'm sure, a very confusing and. I, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about it so goddamn much. This, this very confusing situation that is now plopped into our laps here. That has really just thrown the science adventure series up, up, like up, straight up, upside down, honestly. Like, there's, there's just no other way to describe it. It's just that everything that we've known, it is very interesting to think about, but also just to say, oh, yeah, it's not even real. It's just a simulation. It's just,、um, it, it dumbfounds me, truly. The logic of the world I had believed to be real had been broken apart. Exactly. Exactly. Everything that we've tried to piece together and understand and put logic to in this science fiction story here has just been like thrown a whole fucking Bible at it. I feel like that's, that's very fitting. The despair, the feeling that there was nothing we could do, they were just growing stronger. It'd be great if we could、uh, pray to God to save us, but God had never been the best listener. What do you think, Anon? I think we should load. I mean, I'd like to answer. I'd like the Poland above to answer. Or whoever was above us. Whoever, whoever had these connections with Poland. I don't think it's the Poland from above, but it's definitely somebody that's trying to change things, to make sure things go in the right direction. Momo was doing her best. She wanted to change the world, or to save the world. And that sense of duty was pulling her forward. She was searching for hints, looking at every clip that caught her eye, pray, or playing them over and over and over. Her behavior was almost obsessive. She really, truly wanted to save the world. Momo was something else, but it was impossible. A new video started playing. She shared it with me too. I watched it, but I wasn't paying attention. Once it was over, it went back to the start. It ended again and restarted again. Again and again. Again. What is it? Wait, isn't this kind of what we just saw? It was like that little, like, it's like some flares. I noticed something about the video. Something I can make out right when the meteor blew up. The footage went all white after the explosion. But what caught my eye was the moment before that. Yeah, it's like something goes straight through it and then blows up after. Is 
Yeah, honestly, with uh, old quality AI enhancement, uh, it, it could really just be like a side effect of us trying to do all this manipulation. Truly. The original was probably out there somewhere, but even if we found it, there was no guarantee we'd be able to contact the uploader right away. The video was more than 20 years old. I don't know. I mean, even if that is the case, something going through it, what's that going to do for us? I shouldn't be wasting all of our time on false hopes. Miss Lid seemed curious. When isn't she curious? Nah, there's no way. Unless, now hold on gamers, we have a lot of freaky characters throughout this entire series. It is possible that it wasn't necessarily a nation, but maybe a person. Miss mm -hmm. Lid tilted her head to one side and then smiled. Oh? Gaia was under Asuma's control, though. Even if we snuck in there, we wouldn't be able to use it. Yeah, everybody's doing this shit in secret, lying to everybody on the outside. Yeah, honestly, I think at this point it doesn't even matter. It's like, yeah, go, go for it. You know, use our shit. End of the world anyway. Oh, hey, there we go. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, who would be, right? A few minutes later, Miss Lid shared the simulation data with us. There was no point to any of this. It wouldn't help at all. I mean, for curiosity's sake, you know? Let's, let's fucking check it out. That's how I felt, but I couldn't stop myself from turning on VR mode. Okay. Oh yeah, there is a little something that goes goes straight through it and kind of just blows up or disappears or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is the same fucking video that we've been seeing, but to them, this is this is just like more cemented truth that something is actually going on here. It's not just an effect of that video. Oh, 100%. If we can figure out who did it, who helped out, and whatever they did, then we can definitely stop this asteroid. Or at least reduce the, you know, effects of it. Time to dial up Elon Musk. You know, to be fair, this asteroid is also a supernatural event. We need to combat it in the same sort of way. I felt like Momo was losing her cool. She was clinging onto a scenario with next to no chance of ever happening. There was nothing to it. The whole idea was a false hope. 
地上からの遠隔操作が必要になるなつまり通信ができる状態のものということですね。Hmm. What kind of debris could that be? I mean, I'm sure there's shit off of like satellites and space stations out there, but anything that may be controlled? You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the h o s p i t a Man, we got to assemble all of fucking fortune here. I'm going to go to the hospital. It wasn't just Momo now. Everyone, even Miss Lid, was getting involved. Wow. Alright. That is true. That is true. Wow. Holy fucking shit. Cross. Whatever. Damn. What a fucking statement. I didn't know what to say to him. Before, I might have been able to stand with them and face the future, to rush ahead with them. But now I. I knew my limits. I couldn't face the future. I mean, again, similarities to Okabe's situation that he most definitely had going on.、Um, yeah, I mean, the more you jump back, The more you try to do the same shit over and over and over and over and over again, yeah, it's gonna break you. And it broke Okabe. It 100%, it, it 100 broke Okabe. We saw that. And yeah, he tried to, you know, turn it around, but he continued to see Mayuri die. It just kept on fucking happening. It's going to destroy you. And plus, it really disconnects you from like everything. And I'm sure that's maybe a part of what's going on here, possibly. He can't properly stand with his friends and share in the optimism that they have to save the day. The chances are slim, but so were the chances in all of the quests that they went through. There was only one person that could have accomplished all of those back then, and it was Pollen. Now, well, look at, look at it here. The only people that can maybe accomplish anything are these wacky characters, you know? So, don't hang up, the,、uh, don't hang up your jacket quite yet, you know? There's still work to be done. We'll,、uh, we'll save it here. I actually recorded this episode in two sessions because I recorded the, the first part of this way late at night.、Uh, was definitely not feeling well and kind of just ran out of time、uh, that night. So I kind of, whenever I was feeling better, was able to record a little bit. And now I'm recording the rest of the episode here. But it gave me more opportunities to think, kind of just ponder over everything,、uh, the whole situation of. All of this just being a simulation is just completely dumbfounding me. And I'm sure you guys can tell. I just cannot explain shit. Like, my, my thought processes are not coming together because I just have no fucking idea how to describe how I feel and really the situation at hand. It is just so freaking confusing. And man, I don't know. If anything, I will say this have a little bit of an idea as to what hack into God means, you know,、uh, something that Kent said at the beginning of this episode, what his plans really were. So that kind of took on a new meaning. But just thinking about everything that we've gone through and how it is supposedly, you know, had the purpose of leading up to where we are now to fix this problem, this fucking Unix based issue, so that the upper layer, whatever the upper layer is, can move on properly. That's all, that's all we're here for. Who knows if the, if the highest layer. You know, had any of these events that have occurred, or if any of the events that we've gone through have occurred in this layer specifically, I don't know. But can we say it was all meaningless? I don't know. Just there's, there's a lot of, you know, questionable, you know, doubts and thoughts that are going through my mind, especially with,、uh, we think of world layers, but we also think of、uh, world lines. That's also another thing going on here. So, 
it's just a lot, really. And I'm just trying not to think about it too much because I would like things to come more to, I, I guess, I, I would like more reveals. I'd like to see how things are going to conclude here. And maybe I'll be able to piece things together a lot better, hopefully. So I'm definitely still reading comments. Don't worry. It's just, you know, bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to also figure things out on my end because this is uh, this is a crazy one for sure. But thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. Continue to comment your thoughts and all that with what's happening, and I will definitely read through them. But, of course, I'm also trying to piece the puzzle together myself. But, you know, if I'm way off and I'm just being fucking dumb, also let me know. I'm cool with that, too. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we can uh, stop this asteroid or at least piece together a plan on how to go about it. Take it easy, guys.